But if you had to do, what would be the best possible straight line you could do to fit the data? Yes. No, but, but that's, that's almost, the, almost the opposite, because it's saying as x gets bigger, the y gets bigger exactly at the same rate. Vertical arm is as x moves a little bit, the y shoots up by a tremendous amount. Which in this case, the x is, and the x is, yes. The answer is a horizontal line, because with a, sl with a slope of what? What's the slope of a horizontal line? Zero, because what is it, why, what's a, what does a horizontal line mean? It means that as the x gets bigger, the y doesn't move. Well, if the x and y are not related, that's exactly what's going to happen. The x gets bigger, the x gets smaller, the y is not going to be affected by that. Or another way of saying that, if the, if the, if the slope is, remember this is the slope. If the slope was zero, well, well, zero times anything is how much? Zero, obviously. So therefore, by putting a slope of zero, basically you're saying the x drops out of the equation, which is what we want to say when the x and y are not related. So anyway you look at it, the slope is zero, so now I forgot why I started saying this. Why did I start saying this? Um, yes, if your data looks like this, and it turns out you get some equation, and you try to use that equation to make a forecast, the forecast is going to be wrong. So, so you've got you to through, go through a bunch of steps to establish that the equation, that the data is linear, that the, there is a relationship between the x and the y, and then at that point, at the end of the chapter, we'll learn another formula to how to make a forecast. So for example, so why, why am I telling you we're going to learn a chapter how to make a forecast when we just did it right now? Just by sixth grade algebra, you, you plug in a 75, you make your forecast. What other, how, given what you know about statistics up to this point, I'll give you a hint, after chapter seven, um, what, do you think, how, what do you think the more advanced way of doing this is going to be at the end of chapters, after a couple of lectures on this stuff? Yes. Excellent. Very, very good. We're going to actually take into account. Now, when we have, when we're going to say, let's say, let's say this is our situation. Somebody who's six foot three, we're predicting is going to be exactly uh, 200 and whatever, in this case, like 227 pounds. Do we really, really believe that person is going to be exactly 227 pounds? Maybe close to 227, but the reality is because there's a standard deviation, all the other dots are pretty far from the straight line. Don't you think this dot will also be you know, f not exactly on top of the straight line? So that amount of variation depends upon the standard deviation, which we're going to learn how to calculate, which essentially is how close previously were the dots to the straight line. And secondly, it depends upon the degree of confidence. You want to be 95% confident, then this might be the answer. If you want to be 99% confident, then we have to make a bigger answer. So the point is that somewhat big formula at the end of the chapter will tell us that we're 95% confident that somebody who weighs six foot three, who's six foot three will weigh between say 200 and 250 pounds. That might be something, we might make a statement like that. That's called, a, that's really the culmination of the entire chapter, which is called a prediction interval. But even though it's the culmination of the chapter, it's not the most important part of the chapter. The most important part of the chapter is going to be to learn if X and Y are truly related. Because if they're not related, there's no point in going further. So we're going to first of all establish if the X and Y are related. And again, like always, there'll be a formula for it. But before the formula, there'll be a common sense way of doing it as well. Now, if you saw a situation like this, and I asked you, do you think the X and Y are related to each other? The answer is yes. OK, if I asked a situation like this, are the X and Y related? In common sense, the answer is yes. If I gave you a situation like this, the answer should be no. They're not related. It looks like a blob of dots. What about this? You know, it's not exactly a straight line, but it's not exactly a blob either. So there you really need a formula to make a determination. It looks like it's, you know, they're pretty much related, but we have, that's what the formula will show us.